I'm Amanda, the Undercover Yarn Snob. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know mine was fabulous. The Blue Ridge Mountains never disappoint. And um, seeing family was really great. We were very safe. And um, there was no more than four or five of us around at a time. So we were very safe. Two weeks later, everybody's fine. So... I hope everybody else had a great Thanksgiving, as good as they can be, and i um, really looking forward to Christmas this year, so let me show you a few things that I've finished. Um, it's been about four weeks since my last video, and um, you'll find out why. It's one of my FOs. took forever, and um, the first thing I want to show you is I got some Happy Mail. Um, back in October, I got a Halloween card from Miss Carrie Penny, and it's so cute, the little mummy, I just love him, and the purple background, all that good stuff, purple and green, that's me, it's a really cute card, on the back, spooky, <laughs> and of course, as always, her washi tape is on point. Um, but with that card, I also got something really amazing and fantastic. She had a good, um, a good amount of this yarn and she decided to share some with me. It is the Red Heart Boutique Sassy Fabric. And it is the Skull Print, which I saw, um, well, her yarn when she made, I think she made a cowl out of it. And, um, it's really, really cute. And I decided to go ahead and make a small cow. And it looks great. Just looks like uh, black and white, maybe. Um, I haven't weaved the ends in yet. I've really got to sew them in. They recommend sewing it on this yarn. Um, but as you can see, it's little skulls and bones. And just the cutest ribbon yarn ever. Um, so when I started making the cowl, I was using, I think, my P-hook, which is uh, an 11 or 12, and um, it was still kind of tight, um, really scrunching, squeezing the ribbon up. So I went to Michael's, and I bought a 25 millimeter hook, one of the big wooden ones, and that worked a lot better, I think. It allowed the ribbon yarn to bloom a little bit more. At least the ribbon is not scrunched down really thin. You can still make out what's on it. So up close you can see that they're skulls. And it's amazing and I love it. And I thank you so much again, Carrie. This is really fantastic. <clears throat> and I was lucky enough to also be sent a Thanksgiving card from her. It's Carrie Penny, the Happy Crafty Homemaker. She hand makes her cards, and they're really cute. Look at the squirrel. <laughs> so really happy and excited to be on her mailing list. They're really beautiful cards, and I thank her so very much. And then I, so that was, I finished that skull cowl um, like two days before Halloween. And I was, uh, right after Halloween, I was pretty much in the Christmas spirit. So I wanted to make some Christmas cat ears. And I did. I had a bunch of Hirschner's Holiday Sequins yarn. It's like a roving yarn with um, silver thread and then sequins on the silver thread. So here's the back of that. You can see the sequins. And there's the front. I made Christmas cat ears. I used the multicolored. Um, I forget what they called it. I'll have to put that in here for you. And I used this really great headband. It is from Scunchy. And I think I found this one at Walgreens. But it's the most comfortable headband ever. And it says that it will conform to the shape of your head. So if you want to make a headband, I recommend that one highly. 
it is very comfortable. And then also at Walgreens, they have light necklaces. And that's what I did. I put the lights on, um, the little controls right behind your ear. Hopefully it's hidden. And so yeah, I love these. I can't wait to rock them every day before Christmas. Caution, flashing lights, sorry. But they, <laughs> they actually work, lights. Christmas cat ears, and I absolutely love them. I'm going to wear them out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, after that, um, I had to get started. I had a couple of requests to make, and the first one was my niece, um, or my husband's niece. She is married to an army guy, and they are stationed in Oklahoma right now, I think. But of course, they always come home for Christmas. And this was back before Halloween. She asked me to make this little crewmate. It's from the game Among Us. And I took, searched forever looking for the right yellow. This is finally um, from Hobby Lobby. I think it's the uh, sport. The sport weight. It's like a neon. So I finally found the right yellow with my husband's help, thank goodness, and I just kind of winged the hat. I knew it needed to be a little bit extra long and have this little crook in it. So there's actually a pipe cleaner in the end to keep it, keep it shaped that way. And this one, um, <laughs> I almost forgot the name of it. I did forget the name of it. It was an Instagram post, and actually I saw it as proof that your phone is listening. Um, my husband, when he was home, when he first started, he was watching um, a couple of guys play the game on streaming on Facebook. So then, like, seriously, two days later on my YouTube homepage was this tutorial for the Among Us crewmate. And, um, I think, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, it is, um, it is in Spanish, but like I said, on her Instagram page, she posts a link of the English written pattern. So that's where I made it from. Like I said, I will put that up here and definitely link everything below. All the patterns, I don't think I actually have any patterns to link though, besides this cute little crewmate. So there's one. Um, I posted that on Facebook to show everybody, and a friend of mine from back in high school saw it, and she wanted an orange one for her son. So there is a second crewmate in orange, and this is the Varsity Orange from Joanne's Big Twist. So that... Yeah, so that's all I have done for that part. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's all the crewmates I made. Um, and ever since my last video, I started working on another brioche scarf. Um, a lady at work saw the one that I made with the um, Lion brand. Gosh, I can't remember. I'll try to link at least the video for that scarf. And like I said, she saw mine and she loved it and requested a navy and white one. So, the last four weeks, I have made this brioche cow. And um, it turned out really great. She wanted navy and white. Um, you know, because she, she likes the crybabies. <laughs> so, but it turned out really great. Um, this is Red Heart Sock in the white and the navy and this whole scarf didn't even take one skein each that's how much I have left so that is good um yeah it just took longer I didn't I don't remember my scarf taking that long but who knows and if anybody has been trying wanting to try to learn brioche knitting 
Charlotte at the Nervous Knitter has a fantastic tutorial. If you watch it, at least try to make it with her and she will show you how to read it, know where you are, find your way every time. It really is the best brioche tutorial. Like I said, I after the first couple of rows, I was off and running. And it's so squishy. I love this stuff. I just love brioche. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to this tomorrow. I don't want to. So squishy. And then another driver of mine, I guess, fell in love with some yarn from Walmart and wanted me to make her a scarf. And it was the Mainstays Chanel Heathered yarn. And this one is, I believe, Sweet Violet. I think it says it on there. Yeah. And it's a purple heathered look. And that's how it turned out. Um, she's only about 5'3". I think the scarf is 62 inches long. So hopefully that's a really good size for her. And that's all she wanted was just a straight, long scarf. And she had two skeins of it. It's only 33 yards in each skein, so I was kind of worried if I'd have enough. But um, I made up the first ball, and it was um, 31 inches, so that was more than enough. Very pleased with that. And that was the last thing I made. Um, seriously, like half an hour earlier today, I made the scarf. So there's another one going to be sold tomorrow. And let's see. And that's it. That's all I have for my finished objects. Um, yeah, I'm just got a new list down here. I'm going to check it. Oh, and then um, I just have a picture of this one. I made a little chihuahua bead weaving charm. It's called Brick Stitch. And um, the pattern, of course, was from Jane at Bee Crumbs Hawaii. She makes the cutest little patterns for these bead weaving charms. Um, and pretty much anything and everything you can imagine. All the different dog breeds. She's amazing. I try to buy all of her patterns. <laughs> and um, she's really great price. She prices them like 2 to $3. So, great pattern designer. And then... Earlier in November, I got another amazing, awesome, happy mail from Luna, Crochet Luna. If you know Claudia, she had a pattern out, and I helped test it, thanks to Z. <laughs> she sent me a little card to thank you. Isn't that pretty? It is kind of um, shiny, like fluidly, the gold. Very beautiful card. And she sent me some pins to thank her, thank me for testing the La Luna, the La Lucha shawl. <laughs> it's been so long, I can't remember. Um, but there's the first pin I picked. These hands create, which I just love. And of course, she includes tea. There's super mint, which that would be really good. I love mint. And then we have to pick out a bunch of pins. And of course, I picked out yarn porn. <laughs> and of course, yarn pyre. Those are completely me. I didn't realize I had a ball of yarn in its mouth. <laughs> That's cute. And of course, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, so I got Mother of Yarns. <laughs> I just love these pins. She had a lot. It was really hard to choose just four. And then one of my favorites. Sometimes you just gotta cut a stitch. That's hilarious. And let's see, and that one I got some holiday chai. Let's see, Asian pear. Can't wait to try those. Chamomile nights. And ooh. And then an apple. Chamomile. So those ought to be really good cheese. And I love every single one of those buttons. buttons. And I'm so glad I did that. It was a lot of fun testing her pattern too. It was a great pattern. 
And so that was it for Happy Mail. Um, I do have an acquisition. It's a couple of actual yarny acquisitions. Um, of course, I made a good chunk of change on the Thanksgiving items that I showed you in my last video. So I put that toward one purchase I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, I think I have enough for a top here. It's going to be like a, a square, just two squares put together top. And I think there's enough here. Um, I've got four skeins of this. It is blue mule fibers. They are in Texas. Um, I saw this colorway. This is actually Jingle Bells and Shotgun Shells. A lot of red and green and black and brown. And it just kind of looks like a really great... I don't... I know a lot of probably people are, probably wouldn't agree, but it kind of looks like a Christmas grime scene. And that looks awesome. So we got four skeins of that. Um, their shop's not open right now. I But she will take custom orders, I guess. Um, she said they're trying to concentrate on their wine business right now and their winery, so, but she dyed up these for me, and I cannot wait to get started on a top. Probably not going to be done for Christmas, but I am going to get it done, and like I said, I just love this, and I saw this, first saw this on Crime Scene Knits podcast. She got some of this from her local yarnery, and it just... Ugh. It's been speaking to me ever since, saying, buy me, buy me. So I finally got to. And it smells like dye <laughs> and vinegar. <laughs> no, it's great. Really soft. Um, this is their Donical DK Fleck U base. And so it's got the little black flex, Tweety flex, which I really wasn't a fan of, but um, the 13 Days of Halloween box that I got from Lethico really, really helped me to appreciate Tweed. Is it Tweed? Tweeds. <laughs> so yes, love this. So glad I finally have it. Very Christmassy. And like I said, definitely going to be a top. And the last thing I got, I actually just got today, um, Back from my birthday in October, the Husbies got me a Joanne gift card, and I finally decided I was either going to get enough yarn to make a blanket. It's actually a white tiger corner to corner. I think it's from Your Inspirations. That's on the list. So I was either going to get yarn for that, <clears throat> or for the Reminisce sweater that I bought the pattern for, and... I had one kind of yarn that I wanted to use for that sweater, but it's too, it's a worsted. I would much rather use a DK. So I found this, the Hand Dyed Heaven from Lion Brand. And this is in the Greyhound color. I actually got uh, ordered 12 skeins. The, um, only four arrived today. I think the other eight are coming from like Texas. These four were in Ohio. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'll get the rest of those in a few more days. And um, it's actually really soft. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says it's 100% nylon, which was really surprising. It does feel like a really nice um, sock yarn. It feels like a really soft, really soft cotton nylon blend, but it's 100% nylon. Um, it's a DK, it's machine wash, machine wash. So, yeah. <laughs> That's all I've been up to, and my newest purchases. Splurges. <laughs> and that's all I've got to show you. Um, I don't know if I'll be back on before Christmas. Depends on if I get any more stuff made. I don't have any plans that for anything that needs to be done before Christmas. So I guess we will see you when we... Sorry, don't forget to hook on.